y'all. Today I am going to be talking about my hair journey and also introducing you to Bloom Hair Vitamins. They're amazing. So if you want to learn more and learn how I got my hair so long and thick and healthy, keep watching. When I was a child and growing up, I always had fairly long hair. I'd say like waist to the top of my butt or something like that. And it was thick. I'm Greek, so I have naturally beach wavy hair, but it just would always get so tangled. So every summer, we'd go to San Diego. We had a family beach house back then. And my favorite thing to do was always to go to these Asian hair salons. I don't know why. I was I always thought Asian girls were like the most beautiful and they always had this short, dark hair. So I would always get my hair cut like about shoulder length, all one length, no layers or anything. So I wanted it to look nice and full like theirs did. I have it dark brown, but sometimes I would get bleach blonde highlights. And this was when I was like elementary school age. So that was always my thing, but it would grow back very quickly. And every summer it'd be my thing again at the beginning of summer to get my hair cut. My first year of middle school, I think was the first time that I decided to stop cutting it. And I was letting it grow. And it was fairly long again, I'd say got to about here from being cut that short over the summer and for whatever reason here's where things went bad before my seventh grade year again I decided these Asian girls look so beautiful I love their hair I want that hair but I, at the same time I didn't want to cut my hair also my mom at this time was telling me not to cut my hair because she thought it was beautiful I wanted to look like them so at first, I took my own scissors, by the way, these little, like, grade school safety scissors. I took those, and at first, I put my hair, like, something like this, and I just cut the front so it would look short, and I was trying to take pictures and stuff for my space, and I realized that it didn't look normal, it didn't look like my whole hair was cut short, so I like cut a little bit more, a little bit more until eventually deciding, okay, I'm just gonna cut it all off. So I end up cutting it probably around this length. And my mom comes in my room while I'm doing this. She walks in, she sees me doing it. She gets mad at me and tells me not to do it. I cry or freak out and get mad at her and tell her, I want to do this, I want my hair cut, I know what I'm doing, don't bother me. And so she was like, fine. She comes back, and at this time, my hair is probably like this short because I kept messing up. I knew that, I tried to fix it, it was uneven. Anyway, she comes back in, she sees that it's shorter, like a second time, it's shorter now. And she's like, stop, like I'll take you to a salon or I'll cut your hair. And I was like, no, I know what I'm doing. I can cut my own hair, I watched a YouTube video. Remind you, this is back like, 2007 2006 so who knows what was on YouTube back then so she leaves she's like okay if you say so because you know mother knows best but we think she doesn't comes back a third time this time she comes back I'm crying my hair is like this short it's uneven this was also back when like scene hair was like a thing or like emo scene look so not only did I have my hair this short at this time, I also had the shortest layers ever, which by the way, this is so grown out, you have no clue. My shortest layer on the top was about that long. No, it was really short. It was like that long. Because what you would do back then, I'll insert a picture. You would have all these chunky choppy layers and then we'd like tease it and it would look all big. Like, Anyways, that's what I tried to do. Didn't work out. I'm crying. She does what she can to make the bottom straight, so it ends up like this short. She does what she can to kind of thin out the layers because my hair is average thickness, so they looked pretty chunky and weird and just didn't look right at all. So she did the best she could to fix that. And this is summer before seventh grade. This is like a month before I start seventh grade. Not only that, but this was the first year that our school had uniforms not like actual uniforms but where you could only wear collared shirts solid colors it was not my style it did not look good on me this was a chubby stage and it was really awkward and I was like freaking out and crying and I was like mom like I don't want to go to school with my hair looking like this she's very very caring but also at the same time she's the kind of 
mom that's like, I'm not gonna argue with you if you wanna make your own mistakes, as long as it's not life-threatening or anything like that. She ended up feeling bad, of course, and she had her own wig because she had a bad haircut, so she bought this fancy, expensive wig and only wore it like a couple times because it didn't look that great. So it had like these dark black roots and then a little bit lighter than this, I believe, and it was straight. And I don't really know how long it was and I wish I had pictures in it, but I just don't. I believe I only wore it for like the first week or something. I walk in there and I felt fine. I was like, wow, my hair looks great. Because first of all, uh, my hair is always naturally really dark brown. And my mom had very light brown hair, lighter than this, because she was born a blonde. So I was kind of happy this wig was lighter and I felt like I looked more like my mom. So I'm walking to school. I feel like I'm rocking it. It's also like way very very thick and I'm like oh yeah I got this I look good no honey you know how the first day of school in grade school you have like this homeroom that you never go to again but it's where you get all your classes or I don't really know what happens in there but it was that room so it's like all the kids that have like the last letter that starts with an A my friend was in there her name was Cecilia her name was Cecilia she's like in the front row and I'm maybe two or three rows back. We can't talk. So she's like, and I'm like, what? And she's like, and I didn't get it for a while. And then I realized she was asking me if I was wearing a wig. I don't know how I reacted, but I was so shocked. I was like, I wasn't expecting anyone to know. I've only been at school seventh grade for like 10 minutes and someone already notices. Does this mean everyone can notice? I couldn't explain to her, I couldn't actually talk. She couldn't hear me. And she was just like, so she said it looked good. I don't know, but she could tell it was a wig. So obviously I don't think it looked that good if it didn't look natural. After that, I felt the need to tell everybody I was wearing a wig. Every time I met someone, like either a new person or a teacher that remembered me or something, I was like, hey, I'm wearing a wig right now. And I don't know what I said after that. But I just remember one of my teachers, my choir teacher. What was her name? I don't remember her name, but she was she was so sweet. She was one of my favorite teachers from grade school. And she was just like, oh, okay, I didn't even notice. Which, great response, thank you for that. I'm telling everyone, oh yeah, I'm wearing a wig. And like, I didn't tell everyone why exactly. I Because I don't have one memory of telling anyone why I was wearing a wig. This first week is going on, and I'm like, mom, like they know I'm wearing a wig, they know I have fake hair, like I have to do something. Somehow she learns about clip-in hair extensions. She takes me to Sally's. They were like 120 bucks, 140 bucks, something like that. And she put them in. They were very straight hair extensions. They were human hair so you could curl them and stuff. But back then, I wasn't very girly, so I wasn't into curling or anything. And I was so annoyed with my naturally wavy Greek hair. So I loved straight, 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 straight. My real hair would never be that straight, so these were like super straight, and my hair was like, I don't even know. I would say two weeks or so goes by, and she's applying the extensions for me every morning before school because I don't know how. I'm like, I can't see the back of my head. I was young. I, I was, what, 11 years old or something like that? So I didn't know what I was doing. She got kind of annoyed with having to do my hair every day at this age. So she was like, okay, look, you have to do it yourself. And I was like, no, I don't know how to blend them. I don't know how, I don't know where to put them. Well, eventually, I guess somehow I like started trying to do it myself and I sucked at doing it. So some kids started seeing the clips, but back then they were silver clips. So if something was showing, like if there's a silver shiny thing showing outside of your dark brown hair, people could see it. People weren't, confronting me directly about it but it wasn't long before a bunch of girls were like wait are you bald do you have cancer do you have any hair and i was like no 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 like and they're like how short is your hair and i have all these clip-ins so i'm like i could only pull the hair from the top of my head which was the shortest and i was like oh like it's this long and they're like oh wow that's bad and i was like no i promise it's not like that bad like it's to like here these hair extensions started going bad and what I mean by that is I would straighten them every day. So they were starting to get damaged. I was cutting them shorter <laughs> to make them look healthier. I couldn't afford to buy new ones. And my mom was like, I just spent a bunch of money on these. It was only a couple of months. I don't even know if it was six months later. And I was like, I need new ones. They don't look good. Blah, blah, blah. And she was like, 
Sorry. I decide to dye them. And along with them, I decide to dye my actual hair so it matches. So now starts this very terrible, like, my 7th and 8th grade year was, was just full of me with all crazy, like, bleach. Like, I tried to do the raccoon tail and, like, cheetah spots and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm bleaching the extensions. They're getting worse. I'm bleaching my own hair. That's getting worse. And this goes on all throughout middle school. Before I started high school, I actually told my mom because I always wanted to be blonde. I was always in love with like Britney Spears and Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. I always wanted to be a blonde. I begged her, begged her, begged her, begged her. It was going to be super expensive because I had previously dyed my hair black again. It was going to be super expensive. It was about this long. It wasn't bad. I wanted blonde hair. She takes me to the salon, I get it done, overall bleach, and then on top of that, more like blonde highlights, so it's two tones. It looked fine, but this is back in the day when I was outside nonstop, so I was super dark tan. Like, if you think this is tan, I was way darker. I went with that for a couple months and then just couldn't keep up with it financially, so I decided to go all black again. I'm pretty sure my whole freshman year, I had black hair and I wore extensions and I didn't but my hair was about this long. But the year after that, first of all I was like cutting it and doing weird stuff again. Because I had so many split ends so I would keep cutting it myself. All I needed was my mom to cut it. But I cut it like every other week which was terrible. Don't cut your hair that much. It doesn't need it. I started like bleaching random parts and I never went fully blonde again but I would do like my own highlights or I would bleach underneath and I did all this crazy stuff. Junior year, this is when I went like really crazy and I started dyeing my hair colors not just bleaching but like colors so I had pink hair I had blue underneath I had purple and bleach blonde underneath and dyed it black and I was always going back and forth between black and bleaching this really really messed up my hair at this time I had my own money so I was dyeing it all the time I was buying extensions all the time to match all these different colors this all caught up with me and like my hair was just trashed <sighs> I don't know what just came out of my mouth. My hair was trashed. So for my whole senior year, I'm pretty sure I had dark brown hair the whole year. I had one set of extensions, maybe two. One, two, four. After high school, at some point, I started adding highlights again. And this time my hair is like about here. The layers were grown out pretty much, but still like pretty short and damaged. But I started doing highlights and I loved it. This time, I wasn't outside as much as when I was a kid. So with my skin tone, the blonde looked a lot better now. I took about a year. I went a shade lighter every month for about a year until I was blonde. It looked very good. I wouldn't say it looked great. I was bleach blonde for about four years. That took a huge toll on my hair, but I didn't really notice because I was in love with extensions at this point. I would put all these extensions in every day right when I woke up and I wouldn't really think about the health of my natural hair. There were so many times where I wanted to go back to brown, but at the time, my, my current ex, at the time, he was like, no, I like blondes. And I was like, okay. So, I, and I was with him for eight and a half years total. We had been dating since eighth grade. So don't be like, oh, why'd you change for him? Or why'd you do anything for him? We were together so many years and I was like, okay, cool. You like this? Awesome. After we broke up early 2017 or almost mid, it was like Mar, it was like April. So we broke up and then I went all summer. I was still blonde, but I went to a darker, like dirty blonde, not bleach, like platinum blonde. Summer ended and I started thinking about who I wanted to be and what I wanted in life and how I wanted to represent myself and stuff like this. So I decided, I was like, you know what? I want to go back to looking more natural. So I started dyeing my hair a little bit darker every month pretty much until I eventually got to this color. I had so much hair in these extensions that I was getting bald spots up front. I was up with the idea to wear fake ponytails. So I buy one and it's like super thin, it looks terrible, and I'm like, this is not gonna work. Eventually, I figured something out, so I got like the claw clip and put this other one on top, and it looked pretty natural. I did that for a couple of months and it helped tremendously. Not only was I not having extensions in my whole head, pulling my hair, ripping hairs out, I was putting my hair up in a ponytail every day, 
I was not heat styling it. I washed it less because if anyone who knows about hair, uh, like a girl I know with the longest hair, she's like, I wash my hair once a week. Like maybe not even, like maybe like eight, nine days. And I was like, ew, that's so gross. But it is true, it does help. So do with that what you will. I would only wear this ponytail when I went out. So when I was at home, I just had like my natural hair down. It helped so much. It grew so fast, but now it was still pretty damaged from dyeing it and it was still kind of thin from it being pulled out from my extensions. Finally, I found something that I believe truly works. These are the Bloom Healthy Hair Vitamins. There's all kinds of good vitamins and nutrients and amino acids and all kinds of things that you need for your hair. All you do is take two of these daily in the morning and they've been the most effective. My hair is so shiny and thick and I really attribute it to these. They're from bloomhair.com. If you're trying it for the first time and maybe you don't have a lot of money, definitely go ahead with one bottle. But I do recommend the three month supply because you're not really gonna see results after one month. They also have a six month supply once you know you love them. I definitely plan to keep taking them for at least a year. I'm kind of scared. I don't know if after you stop taking them, does your hair go back to what it used to be? I don't know. I don't want to find out. I'll probably order more. What drew me to their website and their product was that they were advertised not only for growing your hair, but it was like it would grow your hair longer, stronger, healthier, shinier. It would help your split ends. It would reduce breakage and that it would reduce hair loss. When I read the reviews, they were all very good. I looked on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. The bottle is just super cute. So I thought it was very aesthetically pleasing. Hopefully you agree. My hair looks way better now and it's definitely healthier and I love it. I don't care what you say. I love it. Especially when I do things like braids, like you can see how thick this is, which is not like terribly thick, but my hair used to be so thin that it would look like a little string. Definitely check them out, bloomhair.com. Over time, it definitely works. It definitely shows I'm starting my fourth month right now and I'm super excited. Also, my nails, ignore my pointer fingers because I do have a real job and they always break. But look at the rest of, <laughs> look at the rest of my nails. Oh wait, is the lighting bad? They are super freaking long. I know they look gross, I don't paint them or anything. I don't even get them done anymore. I used to get them done all the time, but they grow so fast and it just wasn't worth it anymore. It was getting too expensive. So I just have these like crazy long nails and that's definitely since I started using these. And also on my skin, I don't know if you can tell, but it's very smooth, pretty clear. I have very minimal acne. Like it's helped everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this was terribly long, but I promise it was worth it. I just wanted you to know everything about my hair, my hair journey. Everyone's had so many questions about it and I just wanted you to know the 100% truth and how I did it. These things are awesome. If you like this video or you feel like it helped you in any way, please thumbs up. Also watch it every day so my views go up. I'm kidding. But please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, check out my other videos if you like them, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what you want to see because I have no subscribers. I have like 80 subscribers and I don't know what you want to see. I know everyone loved the pageant video, but that's only once a year. I'm glad you stayed this long and I'll see you in the next video.